Today's camp theme was simple. Iron sharpening iron. Good people, it's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys Fan Talk, right back like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? How are y'all feeling? Camp day two, a lot, of, a lot of great notes. I'm talking about a lot of great notes. I got things to talk about, seriously. Plenty of notes to discuss, and we will get to it. Um, First and foremost, before I get started, y'all been running the shirts up, like, the Dak Most Hated shirt's been going. Like, I ain't expect... I expected y'all to support. I was excited. You know, I believe in Dak. Um, I really do believe Dak is the most hated QB and sometimes the most hated player in the league. Not because he deserves it. Not because he's not an amazing person. Great human being. Great leader. Great quarterback. Um, but because it's an easy target. It's the trendy thing to do. Um, people don't even look at facts anymore. They just throw blatant hate at him. And... That's why I've been supporting them, you know. But the shirts have been going. I appreciate y'all's support. I will, again, put the, the link to the shirts in the description. I'm adding hoodies uh, per people's request. I'm going to add a 4X personalized request. Um, try to get some other colorways out there. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all keep requesting different type of items. I will put them on whatever. I will put the image on whatever y'all want. Um, if y'all going to keep supporting, I, I, I really do appreciate it. Because um, it's, 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 it's not that we're trying to, you know, point the finger and just say, y'all hate Dak. You know, it's just, it's more of a support shirt. Let them hate. Look at the shirt. Let them hate. That's forever RQB. Anyway, let's get to camp. Let's get to camp. Plenty of things to talk about. Um, let's talk about Dak not letting the interceptions break him. Let's roll into, you know, segue. You know, um, I like that, you know, Dak Prescott, once again, threw another interception today. I was making light of it on Twitter. People telling me to stop making light of it. No, it's just because every time I see it happen, you know, in camp, people freaking out. It's still one of those things that's like Trayvon Diggs and letting up any yards after that year. People, that, you remember last year with the Trayvon Diggs thing where everyone was saying, you know, he gave up the most yards this and most yards that. And then, like, you know, it became crazy. He'd give up a catch and people like, here you go. Here you go again. Seriously. Just like last year. Do y'all know trivia question of the day? Who gave up the most yards in the NFL last year? Yeah, me neither. I'll wait. Um, PFF, get on your job. But, but, you know what I'm saying? I just like to see that Dak Prescott is not gun shy. He has not let the media break him. He has not let the hating break him. He just flinging it. He's at camp doing his thing, testing out things, seeing people's capabilities. He let one fly today. Nashawn Wright caught it over Jalen Tolbert. And before y'all freak out, Yes, today's pass was not the best one, and that's fine. That's what training camp is for. I'm not freaking out. I've been just making light of it. Like, y'all want to do it again? Breathe the exercises. Come on. Dak through interception. Just let it, let it out. Let it out. It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be all right. <laughs> you know? Um, let our quarterback get to know his receivers. Um, that's another thing I want to talk about. I've been hearing that Dak – Dak is getting real comfortable with, with Brandon Cooks. You know, Brandon Cooks has been getting Dak nothing but compliments when it comes to – they keep trying to bait Brandon Cooks into who's a better quarterback because, you know, he's played with Brady, he's played with Drew Brees, and, you know what I'm saying, they're trying to say, who, who who's the best quarterback you've played with? You know, let's compare Dak to them. And um, Brandon Cooks is a veteran. He's been like, nah, nah, we're not going to do that. You know, Dak's one of the most amazing leaders I've been around, which is a super compliment saying he's been around the GOAT it has been around another one of the goats and Drew Brees. He's just saying that Dak is one of the better leaders he's been around. Not saying that the other guys aren't great. He's just giving him his flowers. You know, he's not letting the media bait him in any bad quotes, trying to create any bad blood between him and Dak. And I like that. But I do want to talk about this. Shout out to Bobby Belt. Shout out to all the reporters putting up videos, man. I appreciate it because I'm not out there. And it, it, it really, really does. First of all, it makes my day. So thank you. Second of all, you know, it's phenomenal to watch some of this stuff happen. Bobby Belt put a, a four-video clip together. I'll put it up while I'm talking. Watching Stephon Gilmore and Brandon Cooks go back and forth. Now, they're apparently really close friends, like best friends. And I just like to watch two veterans go back and forth. Iron sharpening iron. Remember I said that? 
just watching them go back and forth, watching. It's just different techniques. Just watch the video. They look amazing. Watching Stephon Gilmore watch different tells. He knows Brandon Cooks because of how close they are. Watching Cooks find different angles to attack, knowing where Gilmore likes to turn and stuff like that, in and out of his breaks. It's just, it was great to watch. It was great to watch. I'm liking to hear the things that those two have brought to the table. Brandon Cooks being a veteran, taking um, young receivers under his belt, and I've heard the other young receivers talk about it. And then hearing Diggs talk about how Gilmore is taking him under his belt or under his wing, whatever you want to say it, and just kind of been giving him knowledge as a veteran. It's great to have those type of veterans on the team. Like, it's veterans in almost every room. It's just it's, – it's a great thing. It's a great thing. Um, what else did I got, do I got to – I want to talk about? I want to talk about Deuce Vaughn, man. Deuce Vaughn looking electric. Deuce Vaughn looks like he's going to be annoying to stop. Like, annoying is the word I want to pick. It's, it's not that he's not going to be explosive. He's not going to be dangerous, shifty. But he's so short to the ground. When he ducks and starts getting ahead of steam, his center of gravity is so short, and he's not, like, thin. He's a stocky little fella, like, for real. It's going to be annoying to stop him. I can see it. He has good bursts of speed and short area quickness. Um, I don't know if his long stride quickness or speed is, uh, you know, where we would want it, but, you know, everybody got their deficiencies. I think Deuce is going to be amazing. I saw a couple of dump ball passes from Dak to Deuce, um, a couple of handoffs. He just looks like we got us a little fire starter. Little fire starter. That's what I'm gonna call him. A little fire starter. Like not necessarily the full blazing flame or whatever. That's the Tony Pollard. That's the whole running back room. But Deuce is a little fire starter, man. He's gonna he's gonna piss some people off. For lack of lack of better wording. Just trying to see him behind that line. Him darting his short area quickness. Phenomenal. Um, I want to talk about um, Jalen Tolbert being comfortable with Dak as well. Um, with Dak getting comfortable with Cooks. And getting comfortable with, with, with Jalen Tolbert, he said that Tolbert just, his confidence is different this year. I think it's because of the difference in the system. I think that the system is way more receiver friendly, the West Coast system or Texas Coast or whatever you want to call it. Um, Tolbert seems to be getting his, his feet under him. You know, comfortable in and out of his routes. Um, even though he got that interception caught over him by Nishan Wright, Dak said he came right back to him like, yo, let's try that deep pass again. The confidence to let you know, let's get let's get that down pack while we out here. Let's grind. You know, it's good to see Nashawn Wright, you know, battling because this could be a year where he might be on the chopping block if he don't show up. So, you know, and I like to hear that Dak was saying that the defense is no joke. The defense is no joke. He said that, you know, matter of fact, I'll touch on that in one second. I want to touch on um Dak to, to, to Ferguson might be a thing. Might be a thing. Shout out to Michael Gelkin. He put a video together today. Um, I didn't get a chance to get all the clips, but basically last year, Dak to Ferguson was almost automatic, like literally almost automatic. Like every time he threw to him, it was a completion. Like their chemistry was under the radar because everything else was going on. But the chemistry is there. It's there already. And it's good, though. Dak likes a good tight end safety blanket. Um, and with Schultz moving on, it's good to see that he's going to have and has rapport with our new young tight end. Since Schoon, Schoonmaker sorry, is still injured and we don't know what he's going to turn into, it's good to see that we're not relying on him to be tight end one. You know, we have the luxury of having Ferguson and Hendershot. And Schoonmaker can get healthy and bring to the table whatever he can. And we'll just get to that when we get to it. Um, Tyler Smith is going to be playing exclusively at left guard. Um, he said that today. And he said the one thing that stands out to me, I'm going to do whatever to help this team. So it's exclusively a left guard like it was last summer until he was at left tackle. You know, I got Tyron Smith, who they said is looking pretty much back to himself. Looking back to himself. I haven't seen video on it, but I, I trust it. I trust the veteran. Um, I want to see the duo next to each other. I haven't seen it. I want to see Tyron Smith and Tyler Smith next to each other. I feel like that's a crazy duo. Just like Terrence Steele and Zach Martin. Oh, also, Zach Martin sent a, sent a, um, a text to Tyler Smith and all the linemen telling them to do their thing and that he'll be there soon. Did y'all hear that? He'll be there soon. Oh, that feels good to hear. Zach Martin, that dude. So anyway, I um, want to touch on one other thing. Mozzie Smith, go check out the Mozzie Smith 103.5 The Fan interview. It's just, I like that dude. He hungry. He hungry. Speaking of Zach Martin, they tried to bait him into saying, aren't you happy Zach Martin's not here? And he was like, no. I want Zach Martin to be here. 
That's how I get better. I like that. I really, really like that. I like it. Iron sharpening iron. Mozzie wants to go against Zach. It'll make him better. Dak Prescott saying that the defense is looking good. They're fast. They're flying around. They're communicating. They're going to make it hard on offenses. They're making it hard on us. But he likes that. Dak said it. It's going to make us better. Iron sharpening iron. You see the theme? Our team has so many great players on both sides of the ball. So many great veterans pushing the young guys. Young guys pushing the veterans. Coaching staff pushing the players. Iron sharpening iron. I like it. I like it. But look, y'all let me know y'all thoughts about some of the things going on at camp so far. I know pads ain't on yet, so temper your expectations. For somebody coming here telling me, yo, it's just day two of camp. Shut up. I can't just be happy. Why y'all be hating on happiness? Let a brother be happy. Ah. Uh-huh.